Hello there. So there seems to be some confusion about the difference between SEO and LSO. So search engine optimization, SEO, is quite a bit different than uh, LSO, which is local search optimization. Now, they work hand in hand, though. So for some reason, it's still difficult to explain to people that search engine optimization is probably your number one referrer, especially if you're a brick and mortar business like a restaurant. By referrer, I mean some like the way that people actually discover your business or your brand. First of all, the vast majority of people are going to be discovering your brand on a search engine with their cell phones, not on their tablet, not on their desktop. Now, in the case of restaurants, if they've gotten to your website, chances are they have a very high intention of buying from you, some, buying something from you. It's just like as if they walked in the door. Most people that walk in the door of your restaurant are probably going to buy something, right? So if they're in the mood to buy something, then you need to be in the place where they're ready to buy. And that's with local search results. So what are they going to do? But they're going to either go to Google or they're going to go to Google Maps to find out where to, to go to eat. So they're going to say, I want a margarita. And you'll see that Google will say margarita near me, or they're going to say rest Mexican restaurant near me. And so in your SERPs, your search engine results page, you need to be in the top three. Otherwise, you're completely irrelevant. Now, here's what happens if, if they find you, but you're not ready for them, as in you're not capturing data, you're not giving them the information that they want to actually finalize their decision and put action behind the desire. They will go immediately to your competitor. So anything, any effort that you put into search engine optimization, blogging, you know, uh, alt tags, metadata, all that stuff doesn't matter because they're going to immediately go to your competitor and you don't want that. So what you do is you capture that information. That's what my software does. But anyways, we're talking about SEO and LSO. So the single most important thing that you can do to actually get people to buy from you is to keep your Google My Business page updated quite regularly and absolutely respond to the reviews. So if you're not posting content on your Google My Business that's relevant to the search that they're looking for, like as in margaritas, like if you're not posting specials on margaritas or posting information about the margaritas that you are offering, uh, then people are not going to find you on on hyper contextual, hyper high intense search of like saying like I want margaritas near me right now. They're ready to buy right now. They're ready to buy margaritas. And so what you're not what you're not presenting to them is the option to buy a margarita. I would go so far as to say that this is much more important than than posting on Instagram. Yes, I said it's not a very popular opinion, but if you're not actively engaged on Google My Business, then you should stop what you're doing on Instagram and start doing start putting that effort and energy into your into your Google My Business. So if you want to multiply this and make this go to Plaid, um, you can definitely go check. Uh, I'm happy to help you out with with my platform because what we do is we post that same information that's on one site into 150 different sites. And what that does is it sends all the data back into Google My Business and Google and says that hey, this site is is very relevant. They have they have 150 different sites that are referring to them, um, and that works if you have press, if no press. But um, it's SEO and LSO is absolutely probably 